So hello everyone, my name is Lucas and um, today I want to talk to you guys about the new plugins for Framer. So I love Framer. I know a lot of people uh, like to build websites in WordPress or in Webflow. I've tried them. Um, I've, I still work with Webflow and, and WordPress. And, but I love Framer because Framer, um, so Framer is built on React. Um, the performance is very good when I build these Framer sites and it's a new, it's, I mean, it's not new, but it's newer than Webflow, the community, and there's a lot of people building the, the qualities of, of the sites are getting, are, are improving. Um, and, um, they're releasing new cool things like these plugins. So basically what I want to do today is go through a few plugins that I find interesting. And I'm on this framer.com slash marketplace slash plugins. And I'm just going through all of these plugins. And the first one I want to see is this Rive plugin. So um, basically, we have this Rive plugin. And I want to go to my Framer page. And I want to uh, click on one of these components. Actually, not. I want to, I want to uh, click on this plugin, this new button up here called Plugins. Click on Rive. And I want to browse for a Rive file that I have, which I remixed from, um, I forgot his name, uh, let's see, Carlos Diaz, Love, Death, and Work in Progress. So basically what I did was I went to the community files, I remixed this um, file, and then I just exported it via my uh, editor. I have this um, file here, and now I'm going back to, to Framer, and look, we have it here. We can um, place it under this in this image, uh, in this image uh, container here. And what I want to do is just I want, let me see if I can how I can do this. Maybe we can. Uh, interesting. Well, I'm very new with this stuff here. Let's see how it works. Okay. Okay. It's look, it looks responsive. Um, can't really see this here though. So let's just maybe do this. And let's just test it out. So I have it here in one of these cards that I built here. And we have an interactive. Okay, look, wow. So this is the, the Rive plugin in action. Um, so we have the happy face, this happy face, really happy, and then the other one. So this this is really cool. This is really cool because I think Rive had an extension or, or a plugin with Webflow, but now they have this with Framer, which is amazing. So these are, and look, it's already interactive with the mouse. That's awesome. So this is the first thing. The second thing, let's look for another plugin that we can test out. So if we go here, um, Search console, like, let's see if we can read about it. Okay, track clicks, impressions, and top search queries. Okay, that's something interesting for some, if you wanna add some extra analytics to your to your site. We have some icons, we have dither. Okay, okay, it's like basically getting an image and um, creating like this pixelized image, which is pretty cool. Um, CMS export. Wow. Okay. Export any CMS collection as a CSV. Okay. Interesting. Um, this might be cool for some e-commerce projects. Um, Unsplash. Great. That's for basically images. Migrate. I don't know what this is. It's a paid one. AI assistant to quickly customize a framer template to make it truly yours. Okay. So it's basically like an AI assistant. I guess you can just click on a component and and uh, chat with it or something. Okay, this also looks like some image um, thing. Tidy up, okay, like tidying up grids, making them organized. Spell checker, pretty cool. Um, file viewer, okay, this is like a collection of all your files. Okay. Um, 
I want to see some other things that they have here. Framer sync connector apps. Oh, wow, this must be cool. It's okay. We can connect it with Notion Airtable. So we can create like um, some dynamic web apps here with Airtable. And um, that's interesting. Blocks, this is what I tried. Um, I actually have the free version. So right now, uh, I think you can get like a free version um, of this somewhere. So I, I, I think I found it in Twitter. Yeah, and then I, you put Blocks UI and then it, you can put try for free. And then you can try Blocks UI for free. And basically what it, that is, is that you have the plugins here, you have Blocks here. And then, oh, let me log in. Okay, now once you're logged in, it's basically like FramePad. I have FramePad here. I really like the design of FramePad, so I'm still sticking with it, but I've, I, I tested this um, before. But you have like these different components. Um, there's new components like Timeline that FramePad doesn't have. Um, let me actually try that one. So let's click on Timeline, okay. And then we can just drag and drop them here. So I can drag and drop this. And then it imports automatically uh, responsive. So for 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 the frame pad ones, you have to always click fill. But for this, you just drop, drag them and drop them. And they're already like automatically responsive. So, um, oh wow, this is cool. I like it. So this is the blocks UI. And um, you also have apart from like blocks, you have uh, bits, which are badges, cards, buttons, and whatnot. And you have blueprints, which are basically like, I guess they're like templates. We can also drag it here and see what it says. Yeah, it's like a template, you see? Um, quick contact page for a portfolio. So I don't really like the design. The design is very simple, but it's pretty convenient that we have this. Um, it would be really nice if the design was a little bit better. Um, but I mean, it's, it's cool. It's, it's like a wireframe. It's, it's good enough, I'd say. Um, so let's move on to the next, uh, to the next plugin that we have. So we found blocks, Semflow audit your site and see your SEO score. Okay. This is really cool. Also, I want to try this out. Um, Framer forms, Fenty sell products, membership gated content. Okay, this is like a, oh, authentication. I wanna try this too. I should try this in another video. So guys, if you see anything that you find interesting and you want me to test out, just write it in the comments and I will make this the next video. So we also have Clonify. Building and Framework's got magic, home, micro, and massive library of pre-designed sections, wireframes. Okay, so this is also like blocks, but they're already pre-designed. Oh, but you also have wireframes. They look pretty cool too. Maybe I should try this out. Let me see how much it costs. Or Clonify. Well, I have to see. Let me see in the here, Clonify. Okay, so you have free sections and you have paid ones. Really interesting. So, okay, this is not free then. Oh, it is free. Why isn't it letting me? Okay, I have to log in. Okay, so I... I Insert it. It's not so nice. It's not like a drag and drop and it's not very responsive. Oh, okay. It is. Or it's not. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. In the desktop, as you can see. Uh, maybe. In the... Okay. If you put tablet, I guess it's different. It's kind of weird in the desktop, but whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, so it's interesting just to know that we have this and how it looks like, but it's not so intuitive as, as the other ones. So whatever. So these were a few, um, uh, framer plugins that I wanted to see. 
um, like I said, you, you can go ahead in this, in, in this page, the, this plugins page and see the different ones. And this is a really good opportunity right now when it comes to building and, and um, building a product. Uh, you can build a, 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 a plugin for, for Framer. There's a lot of opportunity right now. This just released, I think, yesterday. So there's so much opportunity right now for building something in this space and monetizing it. So um, let me know in the comments what types of uh, plugins would be good for uh, uh, for Framer, if, if you guys have any ideas for what types of plugins we can build um, to improve Framer. Um, and uh, yeah, and let me know if you like this video or if you didn't like the video. Uh, and if you did like the video, I, I would really appreciate a like. It, it helps a lot. And um, yeah, wish you guys a great rest of the day.